Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Minesweeper and the Solitaire Suite on your Windows 10 PC for free. Now, for some reason, Microsoft decided to switch to a freemium uh, style for their games. So that means that in order to play a game, you either have to watch an ad or pay 10 bucks a year in order to play the games at free. Now, because this isn't ideal for most people, since these games have come for free in every previous Windows version, uh, I found a way to actually get those on your Windows 10 PC for free. So to do this, there is two ways, the easy way and the manual hacker way. So the first way is easy. All you have to do is go to the uh, full guide over at Gadget Hacks and download this Windows 7 games for Windows 10 setup file. Open that up and once that loads, you will get an option to select your language, hit next. And then you will be brought to a list of all the games that you could download and install to your Windows 10 PC. If you will, you will recognize these as the Windows 7 games. So they are going to be the same exact version, just minus that version check so that they will run fine on Windows 10. So after you select all the games you want, hit next, install, and then it'll begin placing all those files into the correct spot on your hard drive. Now, once this completes, hit next, then finish. And now if you go to your start menu under all apps, you will see a new game section. And under there, you will be able to see all of the game that you have installed on your device. Now, next up, we are going to be doing the hacker way. Now, this is going to be, you're going to be manually modifying the games from Windows 7. So that does mean you will need to have access to a Windows 7 PC. If you do not have one, you will be stuck using that easy method that I just went over. So on your Windows 7 PC, I know that I'm using a Windows 10 PC right now, but that is fine because both of these systems have the same hard drive structure. So in your hard drive, you're going to see a programs file folder, and then there you're going to see a Microsoft games folder. All you're going to do is copy that to a USB drive. In addition to that folder, you are going to have to go into your hard drive one more time. Under Windows, you're going to scroll down to System32. And if you scroll down, you're going to see a file named cardgames.dll. You're also going to copy that to your USB drive as well. Then plug it into your Windows 10 PC. Now, after you've plugged the USB drive into your Windows 10 PC, you can see here that I have it on this side. You're going to have your Microsoft Games folder and the cardgames.dll file. And then on your Windows 10 PC, you're going to go to that hard drive under Program Files. You're going to copy over Microsoft Games. And on each Microsoft Games folder, you're going to have to copy this cardgames.dll into each one of the Solitaire Suite folders. That means you are going to need to install it into Free Cell, Hearts, and Solitaire, and Spider Solitaire. After those have all been placed, you're pretty much all set. The last thing you need to do is actually edit the .exe files because they still contain that version check. Now, in order to do that, you're going to need to download a hex editor. In this case, I'm using HXD, and you can't just right-click a file and then hit open with a hex editor. You have to actually just drag and drop it over. So just grab this free cell, for instance, drag it over to HXD, and then you'll be all set to go. Now you're going to notice all of these different hex values. Now the one you're going to be looking for is this string right here. Depending on which hex editor you're using and the way you have it set up, this may be forwards or backwards. Just be sure to check that based off of which program you are using. Now, once you have located that string, you're going to convert this 70 into the letters EB. And now that I saw the version check, so once you have that, just go ahead and close out the hex editor and save those changes and then go back and do that to each one of the games in that Microsoft Games folder. Once you have all of the games fully modified and saved, you're pretty much all set to go. But if you do it this way, instead of the first method that I showed earlier, you are not going to have that games folder on your start menu. So in order to get easy access to these games, right click the file and then hit pin to start. Now, anytime you go to your start menu, you will see Spider Solitaire right there or any other game that you have installed. Go see here, if I open it up, you could select the game style that you want and they're running perfectly fine without having to pay that $10 a year. All right, guys, that's do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks for a full breakdown of all these instructions. 
And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.